to just make a quick comment and, and a short demonstration concerning bridge distances and pivot points because it's so misunderstood. I, I've, I've addressed this on AZ briefly, but perhaps it wasn't enough. Uh, bridge distances don't matter in centered edge aiming if you know how to use your vision. So I, I'm going to set up on this shot. I'm going to use a very short bridge distance. A lot of times when I just pocket balls, I just stun them. So, just a habit. So I'm going to take a similar shot, and I'm going to increase the bridge distance. And because I know what to do with my eyes, because I know how to align to the cue ball, I'm, I'm operating without any without any adjustments. So I, I don't have to take into consideration is my bridge V here, 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 because that's going to change the pivot point or something. That's just muddy in the water. That's all that's doing. That's that's not doing anything but muddy in the water to bring that up. So if I take this shot, set up with a very short bridge distance. Or if I take a similar shot and set up with an increased an increased bridge distance. Okay, this bridge this bridge distance here is about uh, I don't know, less than two inches probably. But I know what to look at. I know what to align to. I know exactly what to align to. And that's the beauty of where I'm at now with this system. And that's what's prompted me to spend going on three years now for writing the book. Because I want to share all my information with you. I could teach you this system right now on, on video in a matter of minutes and show you what I'm doing. In fact, I'm going to show everybody what I'm doing at, at about book release time. But um, what was never supposed to be with aiming spheres on a two-to-one table like this was that you're not supposed to be able to aim cut shots with a, an exact knowledge of where the bridge V is supposed to go. It's got to be some kind of a guesswork because you don't aim at the contact. You don't aim directly at the contact point. So, so when I set up for this shot, I, I, I know how to use my eyes, and any normal person can be taught this. This is not restricted to me. You know, I, I hear it sometimes that we all see differently. That's not true. We all have visual rules that we see by, and we all operate by the same visual rules. So, when I'm teaching someone or showing someone, you know, how to use, you know, center to edge aiming, I, I can speak in terms of, of objectivity that any normal person can understand. So, I just wanted to clear that up. Um, bridge distances, bridge distances don't... Uh, Bridge distances that don't matter. I watched a playoff shootout with the eight ball series where they put the cue ball in different spots and put the ball on the spot here. Every one of these shots are like straight ends. You just take your, take your ball, go right here, and in one of my workouts in my book, I'll be describing the, the different cue ball positions back here in the kitchen for how to make this ball objectively just as if you were looking at a straight end shot. So, anyway, nice to visit with you on YouTube again. 
just had a couple of little loose ends that I wanted to take care of. Thank you and see you again another time.